Hi, this is Robert Sachs again. Um, the most recent video I did for YouTube and for the community at large was about a lung exercise and I showed you various mudras or hand positions that you can do to basically give more energy um, into your lungs, help to restore their vitality. It's a very calming exercise to do. So I hope you have a chance to look at that lung exercise uh, at in YouTube that I've done. What I want to talk about right now is something called dry brushing for your lungs. And the reason why we talk about dry brushing in relation to lungs is that in the oriental tradition of Chinese medicine, the lungs and the large intestine have a tissue that's associated with those two organs. And that tissue is your skin. So when your skin is stimulated, when your stim skin is free to breathe, what happens is it helps your lungs as well. So you might remember the movie Goldfinger. I don't know how many of you remember that movie, but the movie Goldfinger, they had it where the woman was painted in gold and she died painted in gold. And you might think that maybe she was poisoned some other way. But the reality is that if you completely close up all the pores of the body, what happens is that we actually suffocate. So doing that or having on any kinds of, of really um, questionable substances on the skin. And there are a lot of products that are out there uh, with respect to the skincare industry and uh, basic cosmetics. What you put on the skin, and a lot of them are synthetic, you have to realize that your skin is an organ of ingestion. Your skin eats what you put on it. Okay, so you need to be aware of the fact that as you're conscious of what you put in your mouth and how it affects your digestion and how that food gets metabolized and into your bloodstream, the same thing is true in terms of what you put on your skin, which is why in Ayurveda, Abhyanga, or full oil massage, uses substances that are nutritive. So they're food grade the kind of oils that are used, and there's herbs that are added to it for a particular medicinal benefit. But the idea is that your skin eats and your skin breathes. So for one thing, what you want to be aware of is in terms of contact with your skin, it's much better to wear a fabric that is like cotton, natural, silk, wool, something like that, rather than a synthetic, if you can get those things. It's better to have directly on your skin. Of course, you might put something over that that's made out of acrylic or some other product, or some other fabric, and that's fine, okay? But directly next to your skin, on your body, close to your groin, all these areas, it's much better to have fabrics that breathe. Now, in the tradition, of Ayurveda, there is what's called garshan, which is the use of silk gloves to rub over the body, and they do it all over the body as a treatment unto itself. And then what's done is you add oil and then do oil massage, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But that stimulation to the skin, which activates the skin, and then you add oil, and the oil is driven in more effectively. Well, at the same time, in the Chinese tradition and in Japanese tradition, there is the discussion about doing just simple dry brushing, which is also done in spas all over the world. Now, you can get really fancy in terms of a brush. Um, we used to use tawashis, which are the Japanese uh, vegetable scrubbers. And... Uh, it's a bit intense because it's like little uh, wooden bristles that scrub carrots and everything like that. And it can be kind of a uh, very, very stimulating if you want to do it that way. But you can also use a nail brush. You can also use a brush 
that you would have in the bathtub. And what you want to do with this is you basically can just scrub all over, go over your entire body just using these bristles all over. And you can do this dry, okay, dry brushing like this. You can do it that way, okay? What I like to do, though, is I like to do this in relation to the way in which the acupuncture meridians move in the body. So, for example, if you're thinking of the arms, the acupuncture meridians go sort of like this. It comes down the front and up the back, like that. When you're doing this, you're also activating those meridians underneath that move along the piezoelectric field in your fascial planes. So going back and forth like that. And then you do the other arm. You can do the meridians go up the front of the body and then down the sides of the body. If you're looking at your legs, and I'll go back for this, what you're going to do is go up the inside of the leg and then down, down the outside and down the back because that's where the meridians flow in acupuncture. They go, if you were looking at the idea of what's called anatomical man, the meridians run up the inside of the body, up the arms, and then down the harder surfaces, down the sides and down the back. So you can take this brush and you can stand in your bedroom or wherever you want to be. You can maybe be in the bath bathroom or your bedroom, doesn't really matter, and do this as a way of getting stimulation into your skin, which will actually be really good for your lungs. Another thing to consider is in Japanese tradition, they have the idea of, of bathing, like basically going out and like moon bathing where you allow, uh, take a towel or take a robe and then just allow yourself to be out in the fresh air and the air stimulating the skin. I mean, how amazing does it feel when you're outside and have an opportunity to basically be as bare skinned as you possibly can be? And if you then think of the idea of having a swimsuit or a t-shirt or a tank top or whatever it is made out of a natural fiber, you're going to also have it so that what happens is, is that that area is breathing as best as it can, as well as all the areas that are exposed. So again, like I said, a simple brush, brushing up the arm, down the arm, up the front, down the sides, up the insides of the legs, down the outside of the leg, down the back of the leg. And if you have an opportunity with a partner or a friend to have somebody go all the way down, down your back and the back of the legs, that's even better. Now, this could be dry brushing, but the stimulation from a brush can also be good when you are in the shower or in the tub. You can take a washcloth or something. Actually, I think it's better to use a brush, but you could use a washcloth that has its own little fibrous nature to it. And you scrub yourself in the direction of these acupuncture meridians. Okay. When you're done, you can also dry yourself that way. So rather than have it said that drying just has to do with getting the water off, you're also adding an added therapeutic benefit to the drying process. You're going to brush or buff yourself with your towel in the directions the meridians are going, okay? So it's very, very simple. The two takeaways from this is, one, your skin needs to breathe and you need to have close to it natural fibers as best and as often as you can when you're wearing clothes. And two, that you can dry brush and then slash, also you can wet brush your skin in the direction of these meridians to stimulate all the meridians of your body, which are connected to all your organs, but especially that contact with the skin is going to give more energy to your lungs. So again, 
The idea was to give you just something very simple you can do. Yesterday we talked about how you can just relax. And that lung exercise, again, is available on YouTube. And now you have something else that you can do that really you do anyway, right? All of us usually shower or bathe, and we don't necessarily think of making it therapeutic or making it more skillful. Well, Ayurveda and Chinese medicine has ways in which you can make it more intelligent and more skillful for yourself for your well-being. So again, I hope this is useful. We're going to continue. Melanie and I are going to continue to offer various short videos like this so that you can find ways in which you can take care of yourselves during these very interesting times. Be well. Stay safe. Bye-bye.